Okay, so today we have a Porsche Macan. It came in with a spare tire on it. And we always have lots of questions about like, how does the spare tire work? So this is an inflatable spare tire. Currently the tire is inflated. So I'm gonna show you how to uninflate it and then restore it back in the trunk. And then you just do the exact reverse to inflate it and install it on the car. So first thing we have to identify is if the car has a wheel lock or not. It's, ooh, that was very loose. Okay. Uh, one thing I'm noticing here while replacing, while removing these is whoever installed this wheel did not tighten it tight enough. Uh, so make sure that when you install the wheel uh, and, and we're gonna pretend that you're kind of on the side of the road, out in the middle of the desert. And you have to use this device to loosen and tighten. This is a lug wrench. Um, when you go to tighten the wheel, you, you wanna position the lug bolt, the, the lug, lug wrench like this. And then, so see, see, see how it's not even tight? And then if you have to, stand on it, right? That's what this thing's made for. Just jump up and stand on it, right? That way the wheel doesn't come falling off. That would be bad. So the spare tire on this one actually did not get pumped up far enough, which is a little bit dangerous to drive on. So see how this side is like curled over and this side's like super pulled out. Let's fully inflate it. And then I'll show you what this should look like while it's on the car. So right now it doesn't have enough air in it. But as we keep on adding air, watch what'll happen. The PSI that it wants it to be at is 51 PSI. So let's monitor this here. So right now we're at 20. The, the tire probably only came in with about 10 or 15 in it. Now we're at 30. The spec for the spare is 51. You can see it's coming into shape. It's starting to look more and more like a tire. It's got 40 in it now. You can see the back is starting to come into shape. There's 40, okay, there's 50. Now, this is what the tire is supposed to look like when it's fully inflated. Each side is, is kind of symmetrical. Before, it was totally asymmetrical, right? Like, this side was totally pulled over, this side was totally tucked in like this. We don't want that. Let's show you the pump that Porsche gives you in a Macan. So over here in the left rear corner, down here, down low, there's a pump and it has a little gauge on it right here. And you plug this into the cigarette lighter. You turn the switch on right here and then you pull this tube out and you put it right onto the valve stem, right? And let it pump. It's gonna take a while to pump because this is just a little tiny compressor, but this will get you out of a jam in the middle of the desert because uh, because you have a spare. So be thankful that you have a spare tire. So we're gonna reinstall this guy back here. It gets clipped in right here just with some Velcro. A little Velcro strap and ideally, you never ever have to use that during your entire ownership. We're gonna put this back here. So this thing is totally hidden out of the way. That's where that lives. Now, <clears throat> Pay attention to the valve stem that comes with the spare tire. On one side of the stem, it has a tool. And that tool is to remove the Schrader valve. So now you've made it to a shop, you've had your tire fixed, and now you have to restore the tire. So on the other side of, of that valve stem cap, there's a tool, okay? It locks into position and you loosen it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take all the air out of the tire. And what's cool is the tire self folds back into the tire. So grab onto the stem, okay? Bring it out through your two fingers and grab onto that stem. Okay, you're gonna need that in a second. Now watch as the tire deflates, it's gonna fold itself back into a very low profile position so it can be stored back into the trunk of the car. There we go, it's folding down there, all by itself.
And that is what the spare tire looks like. Deflate, so that's deflated. And so it was inflated and deflated. Now you know what it should look like and what it should look like now in the back of your car. Now you're gonna take that valve stem, kind of clip it back in there. You're gonna reinstall it back inside here. Make sure if you have gloves on, don't get your glove caught in the middle of that. It'll just cause a leak later. Right, we're gonna screw that into where it bottoms out. Give it a little tiny twist at the end like that. That's it. Flip that over. Put that back on there. Now it's ready for the next time it needs to get used. And now we're gonna store it. This guy comes over here like this. Okay, we can't put this away yet because we still have a wheel lock to deal with. Uh, so now we're ready to install the tire. And if a tire comes into my shop and the center hub isn't greased, we always grease them. So the center hub is not greased. So we're just gonna put some grease on there. We always wanna do that or else the, the rim will seize onto the hub. Makes it very difficult to remove later. So we're gonna put this guy on here like that. After we've turned them on a couple threads, we're gonna take our impact gun and just spin these guys on to where, to where they stop. Tightening in this star pattern. Then we're gonna torque them. We're gonna gently set this tire down like so. When the torque wrench clicks, that's when you know you're at the right torque setting. I'm just gonna double check all of them. Done. Now we can safely let the car down all the way. When you're done putting the tire back on, always put the Porsche crest pointed like an arrow down to the valve stem. Always do that. One thing to always talk about that we should not forget is um, when you're jacking the car up with this little jack that they give you, never get underneath the car ever. Don't get your legs, arms, or feet, or body under the car while the wheel's off because those things can tip over really easy and they can fall on you and kill you. If they can fall on you, then the car will kill you. Uh, so always stay to the outside, even if you have to use your back to lift the tire up onto the wheel, it's safer than having the jack fail. Then you got real problems. Wheel lock key goes right here. Then we're gonna close this guy back up. This spare tire is being stored again. Hopefully never have to get used again.